Good afternoon. Welcome. Bienvenue. Willkommen. My name is Kelly Lamb. I'm the Vice President of Marketing here at Mila. And we want to welcome you, uh, all of you that are at home, uh, we hope, uh, safe with your families during these very unique times that we're all facing. Mind you, while you're all at home, we've gotten a lot of inquiries, phone calls, emails. Um, many of you have questions about Mila products that are already in your home. Uh, some of you have questions about products that you're interested in actually buying online with us, but just have some specific questions. And others of you have questions about the services that we are continuing to offer here in Canada uh, to support you, our customers, while you're at home. Um, so with this, we're really excited to bring to you the second week of Mila Live. In these live sessions we're streaming to you, we're going to cover a variety of topics from our dishwashing products, laundry, our vast variety of cooking products, our coffee machines. Last week we gave you a much broader overview of these product categories and this week we're going to get into some very, very specifics to give you some more tips and tricks. And again, hopefully we can answer questions that you have. Pour ceux d'entre vous qui ont demandé pour des sessions en français, on travaille actuellement d'avoir des sessions dans les semaines qui viennent. Meal Alive is all about being interactive and dynamic. We're trying to actually create these sessions for you. So feel free to, if you haven't already, you can either log in through your YouTube account where you can ask questions to us, send them in. We're here to actually answer them and we can actually see them come up on our screen. Uh, or else, if you're watching via mealalive.ca, on the bottom section there, there's a comment section. If you uh, register there and leave uh, your question in the comment box, we'll see that as well and be able to hopefully answer those questions for you. So again, this whole session is very interactive. Uh, we hope that we can answer uh, questions that you may have or things that you'd like to know. And uh, I'm really excited today to cover one of uh, our most well-known product categories, the dishwashers. I have our product expert, Mike, here. Mike, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kelly. We're coming to you live here from uh, our showroom here in Toronto. Um, Mike, I know you, last week you gave an amazing overview of our dishwasher products to our customers. Um, what are we going to dive into today? Well, Kelly, we're going to take the wraps off basically the Mila dishwasher. We're going to dive in, open the thing up, and see what makes it so great. Uh, so without further ado, here we go. Um, if you joined us for last week's session, you're uh, already aware of our history when it comes to this core competency in our lineup. We've been building dishwashers for over 90 years. And our current generation is basically a distillation of all that innovation and improvement year after year and generation after generation. So we're going to get right into it. Um, we had a bit of a social distancing party earlier. And uh, the imaginary party yielded uh, the results we see on the ta top of this counter here. And so, Kelly, I'm going to ask for your help, if you don't mind. Absolutely, no problem. You see I uh, what looks like a 16-place setting, so it was quite the party. Yep. You're going to hopefully, if you don't mind, uh, open that up. I'm going to talk about the dishwashers on this side. And being a Mila owner, you're probably pretty well versed in the art of loading a Mila dishwasher. Yeah, I think so. My, my kids are actually pretty good at it too. So, uh, but they're not here today, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you with this. So in lieu of their uh, assistance, you're going to help me out and uh, get to work on that. Now, Mila dishwashers, like I said, uh, a long and storied history. Um, and really a leader in the Canadian marketplace when it comes to excellent dishwashing technology. The dishwashers are obviously really good performers, but they come with a lot of quality built in, and we're obviously going for a 20-year lifespan when we design each and every one of our dishwashers. Uh, now, they can work with any existing detergent or soap that you're used to using currently, but if you haven't already checked out, I highly recommend our Ultra Tabs, which are specially formulated uh, with a variety of different ingredients to yield some amazing results, be it your glassware, pots and pans, baking sheets, uh, really excellent detergent. There'll be a, a promo code we'll give to you uh, after today's session so that you can avail yourself to an additional 10% off of already a really cool call to action on the consumable side. I also highly always recommend using a good surfactant or rinse aid in your dishwasher. Um, and we'll get to how important that is in a minute. Now the outside of a Miele dishwasher, as you see it here, we're in front of one of our more popular models. It's a pre-finished in stainless classic dishwasher. 
Uh, a, a dishwasher from Mila typically means you will operate it from left to right. You'll typically hit a power button, turn the dishwasher on, you will then select your wash program, uh, and then you'll keep moving right along the control panel or sen sensor key bank. You'll add some wash options. In this case, we have a turbo function, which reduces your wash times by about 25%, or a delayed start option, which can delay the start of your dishwasher up to 24 hours. And then obviously, right on the uh, right-hand side of the sensor key bank is our start button. So from left to right, that's basically how you would navigate the control panel on any Mila dishwasher, be it pre-finished with front-facing controls or even with our fully integrated models with controls up top. As I open the Mila dishwasher, you'll notice our compartments for detergent and rinse aid, and you can drop a tab in there or powder if you so choose, um, and then close those down. The rinse aid is basically a reservoir system, so you can add um, about 250 milliliters, and that will dose per wash. Uh, and then remind you on the outside of the dishwasher when it's uh, requiring refill. Now, here we have it. It's a full stainless steel interior. Let's take a look at this bottom basket. So we wanna empower you with some tips and perhaps tricks for uh, having this in your home and where you can get uh, better results. Now, the bottom basket, before we delve into how to arrange your dishwasher, it's important to note where the spray arms are located in the Mila dishwasher. Now we have three full-size spray arms in this unit. Uh, there's a bottom spray arm that shoots water up. There's a full-size top spray arm which shoots water down. And of course, our middle spray arm which is attached to the middle basket. Now, uh, to get optimal results, it's important that you're not completely blocking these spray arms or impeding the water trajectory from those spray arms. So just keep that in mind when you're loading your Mila dishwasher. If you're loading pots and pans, for example, which is uh, highly uh, recommendable in a Mila dishwasher, you wanna try to perhaps keep them to the perimeter to allow a good water course in your dishwasher cycle. Now keep in mind we have tailor-made programs for pots and pans, so it is um, by nature um, a really uh, good option for not having to hand wash your pots and pans in the sink. Absolutely, it actually increases water pressure and temperature and soaking times to get really amazing sparkling results with pots and pans. What are some of the other things in the bottom basket? This is our um, starting point in our lineup and you see some foldable tines that basically fold down and allow for the positioning of certain items uh, more even than just plates or bowls. Um, I'm going to show you an example here of what I would do in this bottom basket by folding down and again anything with orange invites action um, or flexibility so in this case here I would fold the front tine down that gives me a little bit more space perhaps to fit one of these big cast iron <coughs> stob pots and uh, it basically nestles right into position here and securely. Now the fold up tines here can still be able to take uh, soup bowls or plates or serving dishes. The lid itself can also be placed anywhere, I'll just remove this, anywhere in the uh, basket up front and you can slide that in and securely have your lid. Now, when it comes to the basket system, very flexible. So you'll see that the bottom, or sorry, bottom basket and back portion of this basket allows for positioning of plates in three different rows. You can position along one of the sides, you can position up the middle, or, of course, on the opposite side as well. Now, what does that mean? It means that basically you're afforded the flexibility to leave, for example, a side so that you can maybe get your range hood filter from your Miele range hood and maybe wash this at the same time as your regular dish load. So you can line up your plates all along one side and still have lots of flexible space for 
additional plates or saucers. This is a really cool innovation, uh, our comfort basket system. If you're washing large chargers uh, or large um, serving plates, I would recommend perhaps leaning the plate forward so that uh, you don't have any pooling and you're not impeding the middle spray arm. Another thing with the middle spray arm that you can do if this is in your way is actually lift it out of place so you're not impacting any of the plates or, for example, filter in the bottom basket. Okay. One of the other things we like to invite people to wash in their Mila dishwashers is their stainless steel filters from um, our decor wall hoods. Now these are really great at capturing grease and particles, but also come out nice and clean in a Mila dishwasher. And of course, you'll find plenty of spots in the bottom basket for these filters and grates. Kelly, how are you doing over there? Well, that was actually uh, not bad. So you, team, I actually, I have a bit more room in there, but... Uh, so this is not the result of any camera tricks you were able to... I, I was. Uh, I don't know if we were able to catch some of that, but I do have all 16 place settings okay. uh, right in there. Amazing. So, Kelly, you're loading, is that a diamond on the end there? I, I believe it is, actually. Uh, so a lot of fold-away items there that, for example, are not in use in that bottom basket in Kelly's dishwasher, the diamond. He would have so it's had, dimension, it's a dimension? It's a dimension. So second from the top of our lineup has these stemware supports. So Kelly was able to fold those up and out of the way and basically allow for the extra room required by the plates and saucers. Mm -hmm. If he was doing a load, for example, with wine glasses or taller stemware, like I have here, uh, these, these orange silicone, uh, stemware supports, I would basically fold them down and then uh, slip them into the uh, actual insert. Now in this case with these burgundy glasses, you'll see that the cup is not quite level. You can actually drop them down so that you get a better support here so that your cups aren't clanking up against each other or potentially breaking or chipping. So really so, good. So Mike, on that one, I just want to interrupt a, a sec just to talk about the development of these little uh, benefits that we gave, give customers, specifically when we talk about stemware. So Miel has had a long-standing uh, global partnership with Riedel Wine Glasses. And um, it's a partnership where we've actually worked together to develop better product to take care of their products. Um, and it comes in exactly these technical designs. And so anywhere you buy a, a box of Riedel glasses around the world now, it'll have a stamp from Riedel that says, Riedel exclusively recommends Mila to take care of your uh, glassware. And you know, Mike, as you know, in the past, it's always said that hand washing has been the best solution for uh, glassware. And Riedel stood behind that. So for a company like Riedel to step up to say now, after development with Mila, we're fully confident enough for Riedel to actually recommend uh, our dishwashers to take care of their glassware. Um, but, and Mike also talked a bit about it earlier, was from an environmental water perspective, it's much more water efficient to actually allow the, um, the dishwasher to take care of your uh, glassware. So um, it's a lot of these you know, um, little advantages and benefits that the detail of that was developed out of our global partnership with uh, Riedel. So. Yeah, and just to further your point of, as far as whether or not you should be hand washing and what's more sustainable from an environmental perspective, I would suggest that the average tap running on even half power is, is running at throughput of around three to four liters per minute. If it's higher, you can get up as high as six to seven liters per minute <coughs> at the average tap. So think about how much time it takes you to sit at your, or stand at your counter and hand wash dishes. Um, so from that perspective alone, mm -hmm. you, uh, there's quite the incentive to run your dishwasher. Even at a half load, uh, you, you're gonna save time, number one, number two, energy and resources. 
uh, the dishwasher has sensing technology within it uh, that basically means a program uh, with a half load in it will run shorter than, for example, full load. So um, the dishwasher can sense exactly how much water is running through the machine and how long it takes to reach the sump down below and then shorten that wash program. Um, and then from a glass care perspective, uh, Riedel has entrusted us with that kind of moniker yep. uh, because of the innovations that we're taking, not only in the actual dishwasher, but also with our care collection product, which is all basically meant to, yeah, great uh, job on your glassware, but over time you're going you're gonna to find that your glasses won't etch. And you'll actually even see that, Mike, so that's a really good point. On the tabs themselves, you'll actually be able to see the, the Riedel stamp uh, even on our dish tab. So we had worked directly with the Riedel company and Riedel family, also a family owned business, um, specifically on the chemical formulation of our dish tabs. Yeah, so uh, that's a, a great partnership and worthy of mention. So we were just talking about this uh, uh, bottom basket, the flexibility involved, the stemware supports that can drop down, that can be raised up to support your stemware. But also, if you're not doing a stemware load, the example of 16 place settings with soup bowls, uh, saucers, quite a powerful image, I would say. Now, when you move up through the dishwasher, you'll notice the middle basket. The middle basket immediately uh, has these noticeable handles in orange, again, inviting action. I'll just uh, mention to you that there are nine different unique positions for this middle basket. You can raise either side of it without uh, having to worry about whether or not that middle spray arm will be engaged. It can be engaged such as it is here, freeing up room perhaps for some taller items down below like a cookie sheet or champagne flutes. So this is really uh, a kind of really interesting innovation from us that's standard across our entire lineup. Um, the other thing that our middle basket allows for are these drop down cup shelves. Um, so when you're running a full load like you see Kelly perhaps with your dishwasher, you can have your cappuccino mugs above a full row of espresso cups. Um, that's a really densely packed dishwasher but because of our three full-size spray arms, our load sensing technology, you can be assured that you're gonna have excellent wash results here. The plates are not touching each other. Uh, the cups are not touching either. And so the water penetration throughout the dishwasher is gonna be amazing. Now that takes us to our cutlery tray. And of course the cutlery tray is an innovation that's not unique to Mila, but we certainly invented the cutlery tray. So in 1987, this was a Mila first for us, and we've refined it through the years. In our current generation of G6000 EcoFlex, we have a basic um, cutlery tray, then we have a 3D cutlery tray, and mm -hmm. then what we see here in this particular configuration with its fold-up tines to support perhaps a whisk or carving knives, you have our latest itineration of the 3D cutlery tray we call it the 3D Plus. Now, this is part of the secret for so much capacity in a Mila dishwasher is freeing up the space in the bottom or middle baskets from a conventional cutlery basket. You're able to wash your cutlery in a space that normally would not see much action. And because of our third full-size spray arm up top hanging from the top of the cabinet in this dishwasher, you're gonna get amazing wash results in this cutlery tray. Well, and, some, it, and it's amazing how much space is actually left over for a full 16 place uh, place setting. There's actually still a lot of room for whatever else we need to put up there. Yeah, and so there's just a whisk here, for example, but right. certainly some more serving spoons. Uh, even some small espresso cups, believe it or not, can fit in this uh, middle portion as well. Now with the 3D cutlery tray, if you just remove that whisk perhaps, Kelly, mm -hmm. and shift over and again by raising or lowering the middle portion or uh, dropping it again and then pushing over one of these sides, you can actually free up room in that middle basket for those Tall champagne summer. flutes, yep. uh, taller sherry glasses perhaps. So a really elegant solution uh, to the capacity problem. 
So uh, we state 16 place settings in your Mila cutlery tray model um, for capacity, but every load is gonna be different. Um, and certainly this is just an example of a load. So Mike, uh, let me uh, stop for a second. Maybe we can answer a couple of questions on some of the topics we have. So uh, specifically in regards to the cutlery tray, um, I think there's still a lot of customers and, and uh, Canadians out there that are used to baskets. Do Mila dishwashers come with a basket uh, for washing cutlery? Okay, so uh, they do not normally come with a basket. Uh, we have a model that comes in a basket. That's our classic, that's our starting tier dishwasher that can be purchased with a cutlery basket. Uh, I think we have one on the other side. Uh, but it is a basket that is conventionally placed in the bottom um, basket of the dishwasher. Uh, you reduce the capacity, we like to say, by about four or five place settings um, by going to a basket configuration. Um, but certainly, if you're used to a conventional basket approach to washing your cutlery, uh, one can be purchased through our um, customer care uh, folks who can easily procure one and, and ship it to you. But, but I, I got to say, and maybe it's a bias that we all have here, I think, but the ability to have to actually, after the wash, take care of this is so much more convenient to scoop this up, put it in my cutlery drawer. I think, uh, you know, it is a bias we have, but... Uh, I think it's a very um, significant point that s perhaps we like to dwell on, but uh, you do mention the unloading of a dishwasher. We showed you the loading. Now, unloading a dishwasher... Because you've placed them, and if you pull that out, Kelly, by all means, if you uh, cannot uh, depend on the people that live in your house to <laughs> place knives and forks and spoons in, in sections, I'd say that organically that becomes the case. When you place a knife, like objects attract like objects, and so the next knife to go in will likely be a knife that goes next to the other knife that's already in place. But let's say there's anti-OCD folks <laughs> in your household who just don't have that time or that energy or that attention level, you can essentially place them anywhere within the cutlery tray. You're going to get a better wash than in a basket at any point. Um, you're just going to have to sort them on the way out. Uh, invariably at my house, when I'm washing my cutlery and it's time to unload the dishwasher, picking up by the handle to me is obviously yeah, absolutely. much more appealing. You're not grabbing it by the business end. You're not risking yourself from cuts from knives or pokes from forks, etc. And then you're able to easily run them to your cutlery drawer. And nine times out of your 10, your cutlery drawer is sorted. Uh, so if you don't sort it on the way in, you're gonna <laughs> sort it on the way out. And so, uh, yeah, this is definitely a really elegant approach to, to wash and cutlery. Perfect. Yeah. Are there any other questions? Um, should I be pre-rinsing my dishes? Oh, okay, so uh, this, I get this question quite a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, pre-rinsing your dishwashers under your tap. Uh, we would say absolutely not. Um, I would ask that, uh, we ask that you remove the solids uh, into an organics container. Um, obviously the bones, the pits, the shells will go into an organics container, but for example, you wouldn't need to wash sauces off of a plate. Uh, you would place it in your dishwasher. Uh, and let the dishwasher take care of those solids. We have a really advanced filtration system in our dishwasher down below, and that is actively filtering the water that's in the wash cycle so that um, you don't have to necessarily worry about pre-rinsing. And think about pre-rinsing, right? We talked about rates of flow in your tap. Absolutely. You're looking at four to six to seven liters per minute from pre-washing. If you save just that water over a year's time, um, you're talking about a swimming pool worth of water. And if you then extrapolate that out for 20 years of use, uh, from a resource perspective, uh, absolutely do not. It actually, there's uh, science that, that uh, would state that the enzymes in foods actually activate soap better than uh, if you had an absolutely clean dish going into your dishwasher. So do not pre-rinse, please do not. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so another question, Mike. So we talked about uh, Riedel and, and stemware. Um, another question is, can I wash my fine china in my Mila dishwasher? Okay, how fine is your china? Uh, this is a, a question. If you have heirloom china 
or um, fine bone antique china uh, that you're passing on to the next generation, I would suggest that in that particular instance, perhaps you leave that out of your dishwasher. If you have gold rimmed fine uh, china, um, that should probably be the one instance where we do not suggest you put into a Miele dishwasher. Uh, I happen to have uh, less um, pretentious uh, china, but <laughs> certainly I can uh, get away with washing all my fine china in my dishwasher. But again, heirloom pieces, fine bone china, antique stuff, I would definitely keep that out of any dishwasher Perfect. for that matter. Um, so on the other end of the spectrum, um, you know, I think people typically will use, have a very heavy use of uh, pots and pans for sauces, for pasta that has some starch left over, uh, you know, in the pot after boiling that. So one question coming in is, can I wash my pots and pans and with other items at the same time, or do I have to run that specific cycle? Yeah, so our, our wash programs are, are um, manipulating certain variables. Uh, temperature is one of them. Uh, soaking times are another. Um, uh, water pressure is at times uh, the other variable that we're actioning. So if I'm selecting a pots and pans, I would just need to be mindful that the dishes that I'm running through at the same time are going to be exposed to a higher temperature, higher water pressure potentially, and more time in the dishwasher than not. So as long as I'm uh, aware of that, um, there would be no problem. There's also a wash option on our dishwashers from Crystal and Above that basically is an intensive wash option that can basically direct more water pressure to the bottom basket in the dishwasher. So there's also that option for folks that are looking to um, do pots and pans. All right. Um, we have another question from uh one of our viewers, Steve478 from Vancouver, asked the question, can I put my Le Creuset in the bottom tray? Yeah, so uh, we don't have Le Creuset on hand, but we have something similar. We have Staub. This is um, the Henkel version of, of Le Creuset, and it's, it's certainly cast iron, and it's heavy and, and weighty. And certainly, I used it as an example earlier, mm -hmm. but 100%, Steve, you would, uh, you would be invited to use that. Find a spot that's going to be secure because you don't want it uh, something this heavy uh, interacting with any of your plates or dishes because you will be liable for some chipping. So you would want to find a spot um, that's uh, going to secure that in place as best as possible. With our upright tines, you'll find that a position for your Le Creuset is going to uh, be found no matter what. And I, I, I will give you a bit of an insider tip here. Our tines are made of stainless steel. They're coated in nylon graphite, but they can be moved in a one-off situation to secure a special piece, for example, a Le Creuset that you tend to use more often, and just keep that in the position. I wouldn't recommend bending it back and forth because you lose tensile strength over time, perhaps that would break. But for example, in one situation where you're reusing and washing quite often, uh, you can certainly manipulate some of these tines so that they can hold whatever it is that you're washing uh, securely. Great. Um, and uh, I guess there's a second part to Steve's uh, question is, if the bowls touch, will they chip? If the bowls touch, uh, uh, I would say, other. yeah. So uh, my experience has been that they should not. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we're taking a lot of precautions with our basket system to keep plates separate and secure. So um, an example here are two plates. Um, side by each essentially and you should be able to open and close this dishwasher without these plates touching they're pretty firmly in place and we're taking every measure basically to prevent the touching because if they do touch especially when you open and run your basket out um, you a certainly chance. absolutely have the chance of that happening uh, one of the other things that we don't really talk about too often but the running properties of this bottom basket are amazing. When you talk about engineering a stainless steel tub that runs onto a door and you have minimal transition uh, impact on the actual load itself is quite amazing even with a full dishwasher load like Kelly you're demonstrating there. So that's that's pretty amazing the running properties of our bottom basket. Okay great. 
So uh, as far as WASH programs, I've already kind of stated uh, the WASH programs here. Uh, keep in mind, as you go up in our lineup, you pick up different WASH programs and different WASH options. Uh, so uh, as you head up through our lineup, you will find that, for example, in our top tier dish dishwashers, we have programs that do not dispense rinse aid, for example. Why is that important? If, for example, you're a beer drinker, uh, you like to see foam uh, head on the finish of your beer pour, and having a dishwasher that does not dispense rinse aid in the final rinse, uh, you'll see that your foam will foam. Uh, when you add surfactants to a final rinse, uh, you'll notice that your cup doesn't produce the same kind of head that it would in a bar setting, for example. So uh, with our top tier dishwashers with 11, up to 16 different wash programs, you'll definitely find the wash program suited for the items that you're washing. So in regards to wash programs, uh, Mike, there's, there's another question coming in right now. Um, can I use Express Wash for all loads of my dishwashers? Okay, so uh, Express Wash is, um, okay, two things. Uh, Express Wash comes in all our dishwashers, uh, but they're normally designed to be used in scenarios where you're running lightly soiled dishes and cutlery. Uh, I would use it in the situation where you're perhaps hosting and you're taking things out of uh, uh, a cabinet that's perhaps a little dusty or has some film on it from long-term storage. You would run that in an express washer. If you have lightly soiled items that you just use for serving and there's not a lot of heavy starch or cheese yeah. on it, uh, express is an excellent, quick 20-minute um, program or so. Uh, beyond that, uh, in our... Uh, dishwashers Classic Plus and beyond, we have um, our intensive wash option that's basically a full wash and runs about 55 minutes. Uh, that works really hand in hand with our ultra tabs that are quick dissolve tabs. So just keep that in mind. We have Express, but we have an intensive wash option that uh, basically allows for a full load soup to nuts in 60 minutes with our ultra tabs. Perfect, Mike. Thanks for, thanks for that. Um, so it uh, seems like time has flown by. Um, maybe you uh, just can talk a little bit about the difference. Uh, we, have, we have a lot of options still for customers that are at home, again, with your families um, to actually buy, you know, if you need to buy a new dishwasher, we still have that ability to uh, deliver that to you. Um, what are some of the promotions we have right now on our dishwashers? Uh, so uh, we have, uh, until April the 30th, uh, a promotion that's called our Peace of Mind promotion. Just keep in mind what this offer is. It's a price off. So anywhere between um, $1,000 dishwasher up to $200 off in our Classic Plus and Beyond. Uh, that is the call to action from a price perspective. Uh, layer on top of that a free uh, peace of mind, uh, five-year warranty. Just keep in mind that Mila offers an in-home parts and labor warranty nationwide. So that's layered on, so price off. Uh, free warranty, uh, five years. The peace of mind is basically a 30-day in-home guarantee. So once the dishwasher is in your home and been delivered, you have up to 30 days of use to decide whether or not life with the Mila dishwasher is worth it. And so if you decide after those 30 days, you do not want the Mila dishwasher, we'll come in home, pull it out, uh, no questions asked. And, and layered on top of this is a free warrant, uh, sorry, delivery. Um, we have that offer on as well for all Mila dishwashers. And for Ontario residents. Absolutely, Ontario residents have an extra added bonus right now uh, as the Ontario government uh, or the federal government has a energy rebate program available. Yeah, so this, this is another layered on call to action. So there really has not been a better time to, to buy a meal a dishwasher free delivery, uh, free 30 day money back, uh, no questions asked, and then a free five year warranty, price off, energy star rebate, that's a lot of value on offer, folks. Uh, take advantage if you are in the marketplace because there really has been no better time to buy. Perfect. And, and, you know, I think a lot of questions still right now, I guess, given our current environment that we're facing right now is, um, can we still deliver the product to you? So, um, yes, right now our, our contact center is uh, open. 
so you can easily contact them via email, visiting mila.ca, and there's a contact us form. Uh, you can co contact them there, you can call them. Uh, our installation and delivery services, these are actually Mila services themselves. Uh, we are operating, but uh, they are based on revised guidelines, uh, again, following uh, recommendations and guidelines provided by both the federal and provincial government, so we're following those. Visit Mila.ca to find out about those detailed guidelines on uh, our delivery service and our installation service, as our goal again there is to ensure both uh, your safety as our customers, but also the uh, safety of our employees. Um, if you require technical service and support, um, our technical service and support department is still open as well. But again, they are following uh, a revised uh, guidelines and processes uh, based on ensuring the safety uh, of our customers and our staff themselves. So best place to get that information, visit Mila.ca. You'll see uh, everything on there. Um, as far as buying, um, you can visit Mila.ca 24 hours, seven days a week. Uh, you can buy online with us. Uh, we've introduced an, an additional new service as well called the Personal Product Consultation. Uh, you can request that uh, on Mila.ca. One of our product experts will actually get in touch with you one-on-one -on -one over the telephone. Uh, they can uh, answer any questions that we haven't been able to answer necessarily through Mila Live, um, but they can also take your order uh, over the phone as well. Um, so that's another option for you. Um, in addition to that, um, if you go on Mila.ca, and, and reality is I think we all still need to continue to remain positive, celebrate, uh, so whether it's birthdays, anniversaries, we have the Mila e-gift card, which makes a really easy gift. That can be purchased on Mila.ca to share with your friends and family uh, and allows them to buy anything on uh, the Mila shop as well. So, um, Mike, I think we have one more offer for those viewers that are with us right now. Yeah, so uh, our care collection uh, that we spoke about with our dish tabs, uh, rinse aid, our salt, any of our dishwasher consumables really are on our Mila web shop right now on milashop.ca. Uh, and for, I think, until 4.30 Eastern, yep. uh, you can avail yourselves of uh, additional savings of 10% if you uh, enter this Mila Live uh, dish uh, code on checkout. Now this avails you to an additional 10% off of any of our dishwasher consumables until 4 p.m. Eastern. And just keep in mind, uh, we have already, uh, in addition to this offer, um, free shipping on all our care collection. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that, we have a really cool one-year dishwashing package uh, of 280 dish tabs that are already on 35% off. So layer on an additional 10% yeah. off for the next hour. Um, that's a great way to get dish tabs at a, a really bargain basement price in your home for uh, what is the equivalent of one year's use. Yeah, and again, it's really intended to make sure that we're making this as convenient for you as possible. Uh, we'll get it to your doorsteps. Um, and as Mike said, that, that is really a great deal with the 35% off already. Plus, uh, because you're with us in this session right now for the next hour until 4.30 Eastern time, uh, you're actually getting an additional 10% off. So it's a great, great deal. So Mike, I want to thank you for uh, once you, again uh, joining us. I think we will be seeing you uh, again on Wednesday and uh, Thursday with some exciting topics uh, there. Um, and uh, on behalf of Mila, the family of Mila, we want to thank all of you for joining us. Uh, we hope we've answered your questions. Again, continue to send in uh, questions or ideas or topics that you'd like us to cover in Mila Live, we're more than happy to do so. Um, again, we encourage you to stay safe. Um, and lastly, on behalf of, of the Mila family, we really do want to thank um, all the frontline workers out there right now that are um, protecting us uh, on the medical side, on, uh, for those that are working in grocery stores and restaurants and making sure that people have food in their homes, have the ability to get food in their homes. Um, and all the frontline people that are still out there. Uh, we just want to say uh, thank you, uh, continue to be safe, and um, we hope to see you uh, next time. Have a good afternoon. Thank you very much.